Hi everyone, welcome to Border Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie. You're not neither any of these blokes. I might feature in one of these games. I don't think so though. You never know. Maybe he's a maybe he's an added extra. That's an extravaganza. It's Saturday, extravaganza time. We're gonna have a couple of TD replays in today's extravaganza. A couple of wheelie tank replays. One of them might even be a Clan Wars replay from someone who you might not expect to see in a French wheel tank at tier 10. Anyway, Raspberry Soda's kicking us off. First of all. Raspberry Soda is in the, oh, it's like that. It's, it's in the, um, the Habas 1, the SU-130 TM, the Tier 8 Premium Russian Tank Destroyer, the one with the big gun. This is the second turreted Premium Russian Tank Destroyer to come into the game. People forget about the T-103. I don't forget about the T-103 because I didn't particularly like it. But anyway, um, Raspberry Soda sees, that's the Stig. The guy's name is the Stig, is it the Stig the, from Top Gear? No, of course it's not. That'd be silly. Anyway, he's on a mission. We're we talking about missions in this game. No, uh, he might do 4K. You never know. You never know. He's on a mission to do 4,000 damage. He's got to be unspotted, though, so I'm not sure about that one. He's also on a stun mission. Don't worry about that. Anyway, Raspberry Soda from Lemon. He's no dummy. He's, um, he's playing he's playing in the top end of the competition on a Monday night in the ANZ Better League, the B League, Monday night, hosted by my good self and my old mate Ziggy. And JT and Bolognese. It's huge. It's massive. It's enormous. Anyway, Raspberry Soda's in the SU-130 PM. The half ass one. Tier 8 premium Russian tank destroyer. It's a 130 millimeter gun. That's where the 130 comes from. 520 alpha damage. 243 penetration. That's his standard ammunition, which is AP. 320 with heat rounds. He's off for a little bit of a slow start on for yours. And uh, he's just, uh, just kicking back here in the normal TD kind of spot, you know. Knocking down a few trees, kicking back, camoing up. Scores 0-0. Zero, zero. And um, look at the mini-map. There's a, there looks like there's a there's a heavy brawl happening in the south. There's all, also a little bit of a bit of fun happening in the north. Not much spotted in the north. There's some there's an E50 and a, and a heavy tank spotted in the middle. In, the, in, what I, in what I call the puddle that I'm playing on this map, the puddle in the middle. No one from the east has gone there, though, other than the IS-22, which is a little bit interesting. I would, anyway, we'll see what happens. There's a there's a, an awesome, a platoon of awesomeosity with a T-55A and a T-54. They've gone north in their Russian slash German medium tanks until night. Rush me so to them. He's uh, a low tier, low tier tank. In, in a, a tier 8 tank in a tier 9 game. He's, 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 at the moment he's making me think, hang on, have I, have I got the right one? Puts one into the back of the charioteer. The charioteer would have felt that. But don't worry about that. No, he would have felt that. Definitely, for 519, he points of damage. Wait for the gun to reload. It's not the most accurate gun in the world, because it's Russian, but still not too bad. It's a good-looking tank, I reckon. He's got the skin on it. There's, there's, two, there's two versions of this tank when it came out, or two packages. One came with the camo, one didn't. <laughs> sets the A50 on fire. A50, that's randomised. Randomised from the Premier League, I think. Anyway, randomised is gone. Picks up his first kill, and he got, wow, he got more for the fire. He got a high roll with the shot for 626 hit points. Nothing wrong with that. And then he got 710 damage with the fire. What's that all up? 1,336 just on the one attack. That's going to help his score. It's also turned the game around. Now they're winning 5-1. This is going to be fast and furious. Maybe it's going to be fast and furious. Who knows? What else is going to happen? Right, we go on. P PR 1.3 is in the channel. In his Schwartz pants on 58. Anyway, Raspberry Soda from Lemon. And the SU 1.30 PM. The half pass one. 1855 damage done so fast. 710 of that was by a, by a, a lucky fire or a very well placed shot. Call it what you will. Um, we'll be pretty happy. Pretty happy with that. Extra 700. He's got a copper shot from the T54 Mod 1 for 236 hit points, but who cares? Puts one into the front of the tier 8 premium Russian medium tank. And it uh, looks like the T54 just killed his counterpart, and uh, Raspberry Soda puts one into the side of the hull and sends him back to the garage pretty efficiently, if you ask me. 7 3 to score. Two kills. 2,386 hit points of damage done. Auto aims on the VK, the VK 4502A, and uh, he's. he's Looks a little bit. He's a bit surrounded now. He's in a little bit. Of, he's in a little bit of trouble. Turns off the auto aim. Put, puts one into the back of him. Looks to his right, looking towards the ISM. The ISM 
guy said, thinking about pushing in, but not really. He's just going to let his feet pay for him die. That's okay. Shoots, but it uh, doesn't quite get the kill. The Pajetto gets the kill just before Raspberry pulls the trigger. Now he's going up to with these heavies. Now, even though he's got no armor, there's no armor whatsoever on the turret of these. It's like, it's like the... I don't know where that shot went either. That's probably what you're thinking. He's loaded the heat rounds because they are heavy tanks he's shooting at. Tiger 2 and the ISM, both the tier 8. And he's just, um, probably want to, maybe wanting to confirm. Uh, maybe, because, well, he's not going to get this mission. This, he's got to be unspotted for that 4K. So don't, so forget about mission. Maybe he was wants to confirm the ace. He's already, he's probably got some uh, credit boosters or something. Right? He picks up his third kill. And uh, that brings the score up to 12-6. He's thinking, well, maybe, maybe he's on the way to marking this thing. Who knows? Who knows, he says, as he knows. He's got the replay result opened up in a different tab. Tiger 2's down to a one shot, 332 hit points. It doesn't matter. The AMX M451 gets that. That's red back. Two tanks remain, the AE Phase 1 on one kill, and the T-42. Now, the T-42 has been spotted in this game, up there at C-1. Now, I realize the T-42 might not be, um, might not be the heaviest, the top, toppest, tierest tank in this game. Toppest tier. But C-1 is hardly a good place to go. The AMX pushes him out of the way. Sure, it was, uh, sure that was incidental. Um, and he he shoots up in the air to say high five. A good win, 15 to 6. He got the last, he got that last kill on the AE phase one at the same time as the same time as the um thingy bob was being killed back there, the T forty two. Anyway, that was an ace tanker mastery badge. It wasn't just an ace tanker mastery badge from your old mate Raspberry Soda. It was um also a heap of other things. Two marks of excellence. That's why he was going for those. Ex I reckon he knew he was close. I reckon he would have. I would have, I'd know. I th I'd like to think I would know. Ace Tag and Mastery Badge. You also got the Spotter Medal for getting a thousand assisted damage. Didn't even realise that. Bruiser for doing some internal module and crew member damage, which could have been from the fire. Got the Arsonist Award, Fighter, Fire for Effect. Got the High Calibre. Look at that score. 1,727 base experience. You got four kills for that. 5,220 hit points of damage. You fired 13 shots, 10 hit, and they all penetrated. 1,231 assisted damage. Didn't notice the assisted damage. But um, it's certainly um, certainly going to help his score. Don't worry about that. And look at those credits. It was a booster running for 45,500 credits. But even without it, it would have been well over 100,000. You made 164,500 credits. That's after tax in a premium account for that seven-minute game. Not bad, Raspberry Soda. Not bad at all. Let's move on to game number two. This is Mitchell Webber. This is Matthew. Matthew won from 1A Arclay in the GSOR. GSOR 1008. This is the premium T8 British uh, tank destroyer. The one that came out over Christmas time. It's a full shot auto loader. Looks a bit like a medium tank to me. Look at it. That's what I reckon anyway. Yeah, there was a technical hitch back there, so hopefully this all works out okay. Matthew won from 1AR in the G saw, the GSOR 1008, tier 8 premium British um, tank destroyer, not medium tank. It's a four shot auto loader. It does have a long reload, but it's got a 105 millimeter gun. 320 alpha damage, 226 millimeters of penetration with standard ammunition. Premium's 321. You can see he's got um, tea and pudding running as a premium consumable there. That's going to help his uh, everything by 10%. His crew skills, his vision, his, his camouflage rate, his reload time. That's probably the main thing that he's using it for, for that reload time, because it does have a long reload. Auto aims on the Carnarvon, shoots him once uh, before he gets behind a building. Kicking back here behind the bushes, Stay still long enough, his binos will fire up, and maybe you can use that extra vision on this tank destroyer to try and spot out some tanks that he might not normally see. Zero one is the score. They've lost the ELC Even 90, and he's called his heavies a pack of noobs. I'm not sure where the ELC Even 90 died, but guessing the hill, maybe? Not sure. We might see his, we might stumble on his corpse later on. Sees the back of the Louie, shoots him once in the back of the head, twice in the back of the head. One more to finish off the clip. Bang. Brings his damage up to 1,359 hit points. Pulls back for the reload. Now, unfortunately, the Scorpion, who went with Matthew up to that bush, not a bad place to go in a tank like the G Saw, I reckon, on a map like mine. But um, clearly, the um, Scorpion, maybe maybe he was sitting here and he fired and got lit. And he, well, he definitely got lit because they killed him. 
but can Matthew one turn this game around? They're down by three tanks. Zero threes a score. He's just about reloaded his four shot auto loading British gun. He's ready to um, I don't know. He's ready to do something awesome. Hope you can get vision on the Carnarvon. There's the Carnarvon again. He's just about loaded. Is the Carnarvon? The Carnarvon looks like he's still next to the house. Um, the Louis looking in his direction as well. Pulls back. This has been clever, folks. Pull back so that the trees are opaque. And um, less chance of getting spotted. Unless somebody else is gliding you. Now, he shoots twice into the Louis. The Louis doesn't, doesn't take any damage. He bounces it all. Realises all he's going to do is give him a steel wall if he keeps doing that. So he puts a couple into the side of the enemy Scorpion G. There's a friendly Scorpion G up behind him. There's two of them. One was a Scorpion. Scorpion with a K. And the other one's a Scorpion G. Both the same tanks, just different paint jobs. That's all. What's he going to do? He's down by five tanks. Zero five is a score here on mines. Matthew won from one AA. He's on full health. He's done 1,987 points of damage. Nothing wrong with that. And... Um, you're going to do next. He's got to do something to turn this game around. I mean, a lot of the time in this tank, what, what, all you can do is wait for the gun to reload. But he's ready. As soon as the gun's reloaded, he is ready to start shooting again. And he's in the, again. He's not in a bad spot as far as uh, having those opaque bushes in front of him. Shoots the Carnarvon twice. Carnarvon flies back blindly. He does get spotted. Shoots and kills the Carnarvon. That's the first kill of this game. And uh, brings his damage up to nearly 3,000 hit points. And, um, one of his, a couple of his teammates have been inspired by that and killed a couple of enemy tanks himself. The Scorpion G comes up and kills the friendly Scorpion G. Now, Matthew did let his friend know that he was reloading. I'm not sure why that Scorpion G just stayed there, but uh, his, his thing is putting, trying to put some cover between himself and the Scorpion G, who's clearly keeping him lit. But um, if he's reloaded in time, he'll be able to kill that Scorpion G, no problems whatsoever. If he... If he He's, looks like he just about is. I mean, the Scorpion G is an easy, should have been an easy, um, an easy choice just to push over and kill Matthew, but he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Put one shot into him just before he got killed, but uh, that brings Matthew's score up to 3,474. Two kills, including that Scorpion G and the, and the Carnarvon earlier. Four six a score. He's got six bullets left. He's got two in the clip. He doesn't want to doesn't want to take a reload until he knows where that Louis is. Um, he's going to wait for the binos to fight. There he is. Oh, here we go. Oh, can he make it? Can he make it stick? There's nothing to aim at. He knows. He knows he's been spotted, so he's backed up the other way rather than this way. C34 is coming around the corner to help slowly. There's an ELC of a 90. He's just been spotted, probably by the ELC of a 90, on the hill. Pulls back though. Doesn't want Arnie to hit him. There's not a great deal of armor on this thing. And uh, it ends up taking the reload at the end. Six standard bullets left. Five, seven is the score. Two kills to Matthew. Matthew, one for one hour plan. And the GSOR, the tier eight premium British tank destroyer. One with four bullets. Six, seven, the score now. They're slowly coming back as that Centurion one goes down on the other side of the map. This is an extravaganza, folks. Four replays in one video. One of them might even be a clan wars battle. You never know. 6-8 the score. Looking, looking, looking. What's he going to do? Does get spotted. Gets tracked as well. Doesn't repair the track. Decides to wait instead. Hoping for the kill shot on the Louis. But the... Oh, look at that. That'll do. One into the Udez. Udez is still on, on, on the slow driving mode. Oh, one more to get the kill. Gets the kill on the Louis. Or the Louver. Some people like to call it the Louver. That's his fourth kill. Reloading again with only two... Only two standard bullets remaining. He's, key, he's not going to APCR. There's an ISU-152 just in front of him. He clearly thinks two bullets will be enough. T-34 is a one-shot over there on 408 hit points. A one-shot for the ISU. Probably a one-shot for a few tanks on the enemy team. 9-8 to score. Still loading. I wonder if he realises that, that there's only two bullets. But that doesn't matter. It takes the same amount of time to reload... A full clip, even if a full clip is only two rather than four. Peaks over, looking for the ISU. About now he's thinking, shit, I've only got two bullets. What are we going to do? If Is the T-34 watching? 11-9 the score now, as two other tanks get taken out. The ELC even 90 is still, probably still on that hill, looking to shoot whatever he can, and obviously spot for his team. There's an artillery piece, not spotted yet. The KJ-105 on the one line. Looks like the Sent-5-1 on the chariot tier might have the KJ-105 covered. 
Not too sure. 11-9, the score right now. Waiting, waiting, waiting. He's got the... He's actually he's taken a reload now. Seeing that the, the ISU 152 is maybe not pushing into him, I'm not too sure. What's he going to... What, what's going to happen here? Well, quicken it up so he reloads a little bit quicker. And... Waiting, waiting, waiting. He's, he's reloaded now. He's ready for some action. Seven minutes left on the clock. 11-9 is the score. This is Matthew 1 from 1AR in the GSOR 1008. The Tier 8 Premium British Tank Destroyer. The one with the four-shot autoloader. Oh, finds the ISU. Shoots him once. Looks down for a tracking shot, but he, that, that, he, he, he pulls out of the way. Doesn't matter. The T-34 was paying attention. Gets the kill on the ISU-152. Matthew takes another reload. His damage now up to 5,022 hit points of damage. A little bit of assisted damage as well, which I think might have been that kill shot on the ISU. Artillery takes an interest. Why wouldn't he? Um, because he knows he's all alone. The ELC EVA-90 is now spotted down there in the south. And the e ELC EVA-90 copying it for him, uh, some of Matthew's uh, teammates. And here's the G, the GW. Is he going to get him? He's waiting for the gun to load. He's aiming. He might get another kill here if he loads in time. Bang. Gets the kill. ELC even 90 does ELC even 90 things and uh, goes for the artillery in the south. And then, but now he's going to be trapped. He'll probably get caught by the Centurion 5-1 and the 50 TP. Maybe. 14-10 the score. The ELC even 90 is the last tank remaining. He's in 775 hit points. And all of a sudden, I think Matthew can possibly smell a top gun. 14-10 the score. One tank is capping. The Charioteer is not interested in chasing this little French light tank. Hey, I see even night he's coming back to Matthew. Matthew. He's licking his lips saying, right, here we go. Puts one into him. Gets killed by the ELC even 90. Just misses out on the top gun. 14-11. And what's the ELC even 90? He's just going to... He's just running back towards the base. He's not giving up. I mean, why would he? Why would he give up? The ELC even 90. Running back to the... No, he's going back to the hill. Not the base. Is the charioteer spotted? He's sitting in a bush. Who knows? He might... The charioteer might cap this one out. It'll be pretty good if he does. For him, anyway. 13 seconds left on the cap timer. The Centurion 7-1... 5-1, I should say. Going straight up the hill. Looking for the ELC... The Charioteer caps it out in the end, and a good comeback. They were down 5-zip. Remember that? They were down 5-zip, and web page isn't coming up. We'll fix that. We'll fix that right now. Don't worry about that. Um, oh, Stewie, that's better. <laughs> what an amateur! What an amateur. Let's have a look at the result before we move on to our third replay, which might be some clan world stuff if I click on the right link. That was a, that was another mark of excellence. We got two marks of excellence earlier with Raspberry Soda. Matthew, one from 1AR, gets a mark of excellence in his G-Saw. Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Bruiser, Jewelers, Fighter, Fire for Effect. Got the high caliber. Just missed out on a Top Gun by that much. 1,569 base experience. There's nothing wrong with that score. Five kills. 5,450 hit points of damage done. He fired 23 shots, 22 hit, 20 penetrated. Nothing wrong with that. 925 assisted damage. And look at those. Look at those good credits. 1AR, best clan in the universe. Don't worry about that. Um, 218,000 credits. That's after tax with a premium account in that 10 minute. Boosters, of course. He yeah, looks like he had a personal reserve as well. He's a booster runner. Good boy. Uh, quite cool stuff with those credits. Let's move on to game number three, which is not an ace. It can't be an ace. This is not jump on it. No, not jumpy again. Jumpy in the ELC. ELC? EBR, I said. This is jump on it in the EBR 105. This is a Clan Wars battle. 15 versus 15 tier 10. 1 AR versus Valor. Shout out to Valor. We love fighting Valor. They often the commander of Valor or... And not just the commander, some of the other officers often uh, send me a message after the game saying, that was grouse. Some, sometimes they're really nice, good close fights, which is exactly what we love. Uh, not just at 1A, but probably everywhere. Who doesn't love a good close fight in a clan wars battle? Now, this is 15 versus 15. The reason you can't see a lot of the is because uh, it's called Fog of War. It's a feature of clan wars. You can't see what the enemy are bringing to the fight uh, until until they get licked. It's as simple as that. So you can see that um, Bella's 
few of them have been spotted. The IS-7, a couple of 277s, a Rimmy Panzer wagon, German tier 10 light tank. And uh, what's what AR brought to the game? Two artillery pieces. Dorky Dave and Stiggs. Jumpy, Hoobwa and Maui, all in EDRs. And Jumpy's in EDR. It's, 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 it's twitchy enough as it is. Um, a couple of medium tanks. Some chieftains, of course. And um, I must have been picked for this gun. Who knows what happens. Maybe I'll still Anyway, he's just driving around, doing jumps like EBR things does. Got a, got a, got a Team Tiger. Team Tiger came over, which looks pretty cool. EBR 105, the tier 10 French wheel glide tank. 390 alpha damage, 190 penetration with standard. 240 with premium, which is heat round. This is going to be a bad spot. Cool, the coffee was a bit cold. Don't worry, folks, we'll get there. Jump on it, driving around like a crazy person. Let's see how fast we can make this tank go. It looks cool. It's a cool looking tank. A lot of people don't like them, I realise that. A lot of people don't like a lot of classes. Tanks, not just French wheel light tank. Kicks back in the bush, sort of goes passive. Looking at the Super Conqueror down there in the southern uh, southern part of the map. You're looking at the mini map, you can see what else 1AR is doing. Can't see all of what Val is doing because obviously they're not spotted. That's how it works. These tanks here that are just marked by some dots, <coughs> excuse me, they are um, tanks that have done damage but um, not yet been lit. So it could be artillery, it could be anything. Anything that's not lit, that's what comes up in Clamboard. So you know who it is, but you don't know what they're driving. One zip the score, jump on up, getting down in the just, just getting passive in the bushes, looking at the map. The Chieftains have grabbed the hill. Down goes my old mate Maui in the EBR. Unlucky, unlucky. The other EBR, Hubwa, in the east, trying to spot out whoever might be in these bushes. But looking at the map, it looks like, you know, there might, there's got to be something. It wouldn't just be a super conk down there in the south. I guess we're about to find out. 277s, the call's been made. The 277s and... Um, the 277s and the medium tanks pushing on the super conqueror jump on it gets spotted gets gets his butt in the gear keep moving that's what it's like in these french wheel light tanks you gotta keep moving otherwise they'll shoot you if they if, if they if you're moving and they shoot they probably miss you you never know just the anomaly of the tank 3-1 the score now playing on Malinovka. This is 1AR versus Valor. A lot of Valor tanks still not spotted. So that either, they're not all going to be Arties, let's be serious. But, um, but some of them may be tank destroyers back there in the, um, in the southeastern corner. 1AR have taken the southern half of the map now. Got the hill and sort of starting to um, starting to close the circle, if you like. Jumpy gets behind the Vegetto, shoots him and kills him. Maybe this, maybe it's not going to be about spotting. You see an EBR replay, especially an EBR replay. Clamors, and you think, oh, it's probably going to be. You'll, they'll, you'll go into the bush and spot and you'll do a few jumps and, and get a lot of spotting. Maybe it's not about spotting. Who knows? Four ones are scored. Jumpy's flying forward. Now he's getting some, he's spotting some tanks. A lot of the tanks have been um, sort of been pushed back into the corner, I guess. Jumpy driving around. Crazy. 822 damage. 1303 assistant damage. Finds, a, you know, it's like the light tank with a CRD. Too late. Jizzaroff gets a kill on his, in his object 277. Flying around, shooting, getting some more spotty damage onto the medium tanks, sort of sort of in that, uh, that south puddle. Blow that right down a bit there. Get the wobbly wheel. You always get the wobbly wheel when you're in a French wheel light tank. Wobbly wheel, wobbly wheel. Jump right off, flying around. He's on one kill. 1200 damage. Three and a half assist. Wow. Gets blown apart, but as he gets look at as he got blown apart, look at his assisted damage. The assisted damage keeps going up, and um, he gets can he get set on fire? He's still getting assisted damage. Of course, you still as you when you die in any game, you continue to spot for a few seconds, and in those few seconds, his assisted damage went up from what was it two or three thousand to nearly seven thousand. It'll be interesting to see what the game gave you at the end. But uh, now it's a case of 1AR just moving into that corner. 10-3 the score. There's only five teams remaining. Make that four. Uh, there's a Quinlan, a WZ Triple One QL. That's the one I like to ready up now, but they never let me bring it. 1AR versus Vela. Shout out to Vela. Always good um, always good fights. Oh, often really good close ones, which is it's a no biting result of late, which is which is good to see. And um, they're having a good time on 
the global map as well. Let's have a look at the replay the result. I should say. Let's have a look at the, res the result. It was a 15-3 win for 1AR, but uh, jump on up. Certainly had a good time in the French wheeled light tank, the Panhard EBR 105. Um, running around, spotting tanks, being cool, and doing heaps of stuff. Um, he spotted, he, sp he got, what's that? That's seven and a half thousand assisted damage. Let's have a look. Um, Big Joe, Big Joe top scored there with 2,800 damage and also a four, 4K assist, which not too bad for, for, a, for a heavy tank. And Jumpy, 7,500 assisted damage. He got a kill and 1,210 hit points of damage as well. He fired six shots. They all, all hit and four penned, even though he was doing a million miles an hour. And, of course, with the clan boosters, with the credit boosters that we use at 1AR. In clan battles, I think it's an extra 75% credits, I think it might be, in a clan battle. Um, still 30% extra for randoms, but um, well, or whatever it is. But uh, but 70 or 75, whatever it is, who knows. Um, and that's why he's making plenty of coin there. Plenty of coin in a Clan Wars battle. 80,000 credits after tax with a premium account in that six and a half minute game. Even though he died. Let's move on to our fourth and final replay in today's strategy. This is Javez. Javez. Okay, very is it another one? This time on mines. Let's make that map a little bit better. This is an encounter battle on mines. Javez is in the Lynx 6x6. He's inspired by Jumpy's epic performance in the WZ. He wants one. I can't say I blame him. I want one. I've got one. Here it is. This is a Lynx 6x6. This is a Tech Tree tank. This is not the premium T8 French field light tank. This is a Tech Tree one. You can see it spins around. It's got, uh, I think the, the tier 8 is the first one, which has the two, the two different modes. We saw in Jumpy's replay, he was, for the majority of it, uh, he was in the fast mode, so you can, there's a mode where you can drive faster, where this little thing lights up, like we've just seen the Vezas light up. You can drive faster, both forwards and backwards, but you can also, but you turn slower. So you, your top speed and your acceleration goes up phenomenally. But when you turn left and right, it takes a lot longer to wider arc as you're turning left and right. Does that make sense? I think it does. I hope it does. Anyway, Javez from 1AR Clan. Is this Link 6x6 and it looks like he's loving it. He's already up to 931 hit points of damage. This is one of those tanks that's got 8 DCR for both standard and premium ammunition. Standard is 240 alpha damage, 182 millimeters of penetration, 223 with premium. They're both APCR, so there's no... Um, uh, doesn't, you know, APCR doesn't care about space armor such as traps like Heat and HG can. One one's the score, and look at the minimap. The enemy team, but there's they're they're really pushing onto the cap. They've got a heap of tanks going near the cap, and I can say look, the Vezas team probably doesn't have the numbers to fight that. The enemy team also have a lot at the mouth of the hill who, who could possibly jump up and. Um, be a bit of a pain in the butt to the links, but it looks like they're not. Looks like they're not doing it. Um, most of the Vezza team, or not a lot of the tank destroyers, are back there on the perch, sniping. Uh, hope, hopefully, getting resets and stuff. No idea where that shot went. Uh, they went close to the target. Should have, should have, quite probably could have, should have been, should have, would have, could have. Probably should have been the kill shot on that tiger, which would have evened up the game, but um, but not quite yet. Puts one into the side of the T. 25 dash to the turreted American tier 7 tank destroyer and now he just he's just keeping this gun singing he's not he's not using the speed is why not use the gun they've all got guns he's got the HE loaded now what's going on here he's not sure what he was shooting there trying to shoot with that is he on a mission for critical hits that's no that's that's not going to work because that's like an arty 1-2 is the score they're only down by one tank I'm surprised that these tanks have not moved they're only fighting against one CS-52 LIS that's a premium Polish radio tank. That's the only tank that they're engaged with here, the CS. Maybe the T-44, who's probably bullying the Chi Ri. Oh, no. Probably looks like he's getting bullied by the Chi Ri and probably the Borsig back on the red line. Who knows why these tanks aren't moving. Anyway, 1-3's the score. 1-4's the score. So it's not the score that's keeping these tanks from moving. This is going to be another. This is going to be a similar replay. So Matthews, is this going to be an epic comeback? Or is it going to be a, a monumental fail? Bang! Gets rid of gets rid of the 122TM. That's a, the, the brand new premium Chinese medium tank. 
The one with the, the one with a great camo. The dragon. The dragon gun. These heavy tanks are still down here. It looks like they're not really they're not really winning the fight, are they? That's probably why they're not pushing up. The uh, T26 E5 peak. Um, T26 E5 peak. That's the Patriot tank. He's coming in to try to uh, bully these these heavy tanks. The Louis is a one shot at 176 hit points. There he goes. Now it's even again. Five apiece. Two kills to Havez from one AR car. Havez from one AR. This could be three. It is. It is three. Three kills. 2,886 hit points of damage on Mars. Winning 7-5. How many tanks were they down? Four? Maybe four? Possibly three. Anyway, decided, well, there's more things to shoot over here. So, I will. Ooh, the hot AMX looks menacing. That shot doesn't go through the front of the French tank destroyer at tier 7. Has got a bit of armour in it. It's funny, isn't it? Those French TDs have got more armour than a lot of their heavies. But it happens. It happens. Now he's using the undulation of the land to give himself a little bit more uh, gun depression by, by, by having that angle. I'm not sure if it shows that video. By having that, by putting his right wheels higher than his left, it gives him, it gives him more room. Um, Gives him more gun depression, sort of. Allows him to shoot down on that E25. E25 is a one shot now. He's got HE loaded for the kill shot on the E25. More so as a way of managing his ammunition than anything else. He's got seven premium rounds. There's four enemy tanks left. The E25. There he goes. The Schwartz. The Schwartz Panzer. Schwartz Panzer. You know the one. The, the, the Mutt. The Mutt. Officially, the Mutt. Oh, the HE's working. The HE just went for 282 into the Mutz tank and compared to that's that was 266 now if that was yeah that was that's comparable comparable to the the standard ammunition nothing wrong with some of these some of these french wheel light tanks are half decent he gun who knows if that's going to change at some stage it's got the apcr loaded now wanting the kill shot on the schwartz panzer but it, maybe it's not going to happen there it goes the ferdinand gets the kill shot most of the tank destroyers have come off the perch. The Saint Emile's been left behind. They're probably, uh, I don't know what he's doing. 13 5 the score. Only two enemy tanks remain. The AMX AC 46 at tier 7, hiding behind that rock. There's also a Rimmy Borsig Waffentrager around somewhere. Uh, I think the EBR Huskies might spot the Rimmy Borsig Waffentrager soon. Maybe. Looking at the map. There he is. Still back in the same spot. But so Hervez is saying, right out. Let's go get him. Got the AG loaded. The AG can do a lot of damage to the Borsig. But the LIS kills it first. And that just leaves the AMX AC 46. He's probably feeling a little bit nervous and outnumbered. 3,649 hit points of damage done by Hervez. Make that 3,700. 400 assists. Four kills. Do you reckon it's going to be an ace? I reckon it's going to be nice. In fact, I'll put the house on it. Let's have a look. Hervez from 1AR Clan having a great time in the Panhard AML Lynx 6x6 Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Bruiser, fighter, fire for effect. The high calibre for doing uh, at least doing the most damage. Look at that. 4,218 hit points of damage. Four kills, 1,304 base experience. He fired 23 shots, 20 hit, 19 went through. Got some assisted damage as well. He even made some coin. 35 and a bit. 1,000 credits. It's after tax with a premium account in that game that went for just under seven minutes. So, Vez, thank you very much for the replay. Jump on her in the Clan Wars as well, in the other French wheel light tank at tier 10, in the Panhard. Jumps also on YouTube and Twitch. His links will be down below with all the other stuff. Follow, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of jazz. Matty won in a great comeback on Mines in the G-Saw and Raspberry Soda from Lemon. SU 1.30 p.m. Thank you very much for the replays, lads. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.